Shall we begin? What's up, your fam? Millie Fearless Shinobi. It's the one here, and we have another amazing video here for you today. It's going to be a more online rank Naruto Storm 4 Road to Boruto fights for your enjoyment. It's going to be Hebi Sasuke versus Five Kage Summit Sasuke, and we're going to be using Team Taka, but without Taka Sasuke, it's going to be Five Kage Summit Sasuke instead. And. Ooh, we're gonna see some double Karen action. Very interesting. Really nice to see that Jugo Jutsu land when it does. It has a really beautiful and amazing pop up, and so does the up combo of Sasuke with that sword swipe right there. If you are playing with the Sasuke, that should be your aim. That should be your goal. It should be to do that sort of eject your opponent into the air and stagger them and stun them and here we go again with the jugo jutsu that's two of them and a perfect counter perfect dash stop there and the pressure is real when you have those we're just mashing here and subbing because that typically works with the sasuke and that's part of his play style it has been for the last few games now you don't want to do it all the time because you can always be oh my punished God. when that, you mash. That practice paid off. But that is a very healthy green bar, almost perfect here. But I think our opponent will make a return. So let's watch the end of this video. We get some nice air tilts as well going in this game. Karen's alternate color actually is my favorite color on Karen. It's more of like a light pink color. And I hope that's a color that we can select in Naruto Storm Connections. I think it will be. See, her natural color is like purple, right? It's kind of like a violet purple kind of thing. But the alternate is pink. And they're both actually really cool colors. Um, I really like Karen as a character. I think she's funny, she's cool, and she's interesting, and she's very overpowered. Having that very special chakra nature. Um, she has that red hair, right, that gives her... There we go. Pressuring him here. He doesn't want to take the bait. Punishing him with a paper tag. Yes, getting him with the perfume spray. But he avoided the debuffs by switching there. Then he switched kind of back into his debuffs, which is unfortunate. Jugo is really awesome. Dude, that really nice grab tech there with Jugo. He has some of the best grab tech in the game. Because of the hitbox, insanely long hitbox on his grab. Respecting the Jugo Jutsu by substituting. It would have killed him, probably. Very nice. Nice to see some nice aerial jail there from the Hebi Sasuke. It's always some of the best part of his kit people should be using. Ooh, Jugo with the chip damage and double Cairns to end it. Shall we begin?